Doug and PA back with another video. So we're doing another video on that gender wage pay gap. That pesky thing I always say is like Hydra from Marvel, where you cut off one head and two appear in its place. Well, that's these videos and articles about the gender wage gap. It's been debunked a thousand times. Men work harder at uh, longer hours. Men work harder jobs. That's why men make more. But they keep putting these out, and I'm going to keep covering them. So this video is called Five Jobs with Alarming Gender Pay Disparity. It's where this lady is talking about five female-dominated industries where the men make more, although women are the majority of the employees in the industry. Before we get into this, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. It's just you support me and the content over here. And just one last thing before we start. There's a literary technique called foreshadowing. And foreshadowing is where you paint to the reader in the beginning of the story a little bit of the picture of what's going to happen later on in the story. And I say that because look at this woman, okay? Just take a look. I'm not going to say anything bad about her looks because we're better than that over here. But this is foreshadowing for exactly where you think this video is going to go. So let's get into it. One of my colleagues, who's this super kind 20-something-year-old guy, just did a bunch of research on woman-dominated careers where men out-earn women. If you're a woman who's ever had a job, it probably comes as no surprise to you that men often pull higher salaries than us, even in fields where we reign supreme. But Evan was traumatized, bless his heart, to discover that male lactation consultants, for example, make more money than female lactation consultants. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Did she just say lactation consultants? What is that? And then why are there male lactation consultants? <laughs> I might have to do a video on, on that by itself. A male lactation consultant. <laughs> you learn something new every day, guys. Uh, oh, my gosh. Which is crazy. Stick around and I'll tell you about five other careers where women are doing most of the work and men are making most of the money. Let's get into it, Meg. Thanks, Best Colleges, for this video. Let's go. First on our list, dental hygienists. 93% of them are women. This is a job that often only requires an associate's degree and you can make six figures doing it. The median salary for a woman is nearly $115,000, which is pretty good money. But the median salary for a man is over $120,000. It comes out to a difference of like $5,500 a year. Dental hygienists, imagine what you could do with an extra $5,500 a year. After only one year of pay parity, you could buy yourself a brand new electric toothbrush every single month for the next 18 years of your life. So here's the thing about dental hygienists. Every single dental hygienist I've had has been a woman. And guys, put in the comments if you agree with this or not. But everyone I've had has been a woman, and she's been married with kids. A dental hygienist is a, a secondary income job, not a primary income job. The primary income people in the dental field are dentists, although there are a lot of female dentists now too. But yeah, most of the dental hygienists I've had have been married with kids. and so. They take that job because they want more structure. They want less stress to be able to focus on their children. So if you're a man, just like most female-dominated industries, they make more because they're willing to stick it out and work more hours. Next up, speech-language pathologists. More than 90% of them are women, but they only earn 94 cents for every dollar that a man earns. Six cents doesn't sound like a very big deal, until you realize it adds up to a difference of roughly $250,000 in lifetime earnings. $250,000. That's two six-bedroom houses in Mississippi. That's a whole medieval watchtower in Southeast France. Bonjour. Optician. So, speech language pathologists, let me tell you, this is another job. All women, all women, all of them. And speech language therapists, they go to speech therapy because they want to help people. I want to help people communicate. Like, you know that speech language, I'm not saying it's not important, but it's not important to infrastructure. And there's a lot of women doing it. So it's not important to infrastructure. So it's not going to get paid a lot. And so what that boils down to is 
If you go into a job knowing it's not going to pay a lot, you're going to make more because you're going to work more hours or work in places where not a lot of people want to go. Maybe the male speech language therapists want to work in Alaska, somewhere cold or somewhere hot. Who knows? Our next on our list, and this is where you're going to start seeing an even bigger gap in pay. About 78% of opticians are women, but men make about 12% more per year. How big is that difference? Think of it like this. The average woman optician would have to work an additional month every year just to make up the difference. In the number four spot. So opticians are one of those industries where it's kind of like audiology and pharmacy. Before the 80s, you could only get glasses at an optician's office. And then all of a sudden, retail started um, building op optometry offices. So you could go to Walmart and get glasses. But I remember a time where you couldn't go to a big box retail store and get glasses or hearing aids or, 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 um, or a pharmacy. So most uh, there are a lot of optometry offices that are attached to retail. And retail is one of those where the more hours you put in, the more money you're going to make. But we have pediatricians. As of 2019, six in 10 pediatricians were women and seven out of 10 graduating pediatrics residents were also women. As a quick side note, you should know that in 2016, Harvard researchers published a study showing that female physicians get consistently better patient results than male physicians. So much better, in fact, that if male doctors could get the same outcomes, it would save approximately 32,000 lives every year. Even so, medical men far out earn medical women, pretty much across the board. And in pediatrics, the men take home about $51,000 more per year than the women. $51,000. That's enough for a whole Model 3 Tesla every year, just for being a guy and doing a worse job. You don't have to have a doctor to know that that's messed up. So, I'm gonna throw out some stats for you guys. 27% of female physicians experience infertility because of the stress of the job. You could Google it right now, put female physician infertility. That's how stressful being a doctor is. I'm gonna throw another stat for you. 52% of women in STEM go to part-time or change industries entirely once they have a child. Japan temporarily limited medical school applications uh, uh, spots for women because so many female doctors were dropping out of the workforce because uh, after they had their children. Men, we become doctors and we stick it out for the long haul. A, a lot of female doctors don't. Uh, is it the majority? No, but but it's enough to create a pay gap. Men will be doctors for their entire lives. Women will become a doctor, will, will get a medical degree, not even use it. Maybe be a doctor for 10 years, step back you know, quit being a doctor to pursue their passion. Men don't do that. That's where that $51,000 comes from. But the award for the most disappointing pay gap percentage goes to the nutritionists. Fewer than 20... Guys, have you ever met a nutritionist? I've never met one. Not one. So I'm interested to see what the Megs are talking about. Percent of nutritionists are men, but they still earn about 20% more than women in the field. Guys, can you imagine discovering that your colleague at work who has the same education as you, works the same hours as you, does the same job as you, gets paid 20% more than you for no discernible reason? For nutritionists... You see what she did there with no discernible reason? And she said same hours as you? We know men work more hours. Okay, I'm going to say one other thing. This Best Colleges channel only has 730 subs. You see this production value on this video? It is way too high of a production cost for their 730 subs and the amount of views they get. So this is being funded by some women's group or some media group or something like that. So just keep that in mind as we almost finish this video. That gap comes out to about $10,000 a year. Think about it. You could buy 10,000 things at the dollar store with that kind of money. Whoever said money doesn't buy happiness was probably a male pediatrician. But let's be serious for a second about why this pay gap business really matters. Between the ages of 25 and 34, 
American women are 69% more likely to live in poverty than men of the same age. Black women and other women of color face even wider pay gaps than white women. Okay, I'm going to stop it right here because I she's getting into race. We don't care about race. And she's going to get into this uh, poor woman stuff. So we're going to stop this video right here. Once again, the pay gap is a myth. Guys work harder jobs, work more hours. When a pregnancy occurs, men work more hours. Women work less. Women care about flexible work schedules, job satisfaction. Men, We don't go into the job market looking for a job that we love. We know that we have the masculine burden of performance. We have to perform to get anywhere in life. And there's no one to save us if we fail. Tell me what you think about this in the comments. Like, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.